Okay, so let's actually, I said we were going to do an example. This is a start, so we'll actually do the example now. Um, let's go back to this problem, and I'll show you how to implement this in ease. Um, turns out, I guess, for this type of problem, we're, we're doing it in ease just one because that's what I had from last semester. So, <laughs> But um, we'll do it in ease because it's, it's conceptually easier to see it that way. Um, what you'd need to do if you wanted to do this in Python would be uh, recognize the fact that you don't know EB, you don't know J. So you have this uh, system of equations. It's kind of like in a, a numerical setting. You've got all these temperatures and nodes that you don't know. So th the way that you'd approach it is probably the same way you'd approach solving a numerical problem, which would be you either do um, a matrix decomposition or you're doing um, gauss seidel iteration, where you like guess temperatures, solve, guess, solve, so on. I mean, you can do it kind of any way, but um, just uh, recognize it's going to be kind of the same techniques in Python. Um, maybe next time around I'll have a good example for Python. But for now, let's look at, look at this in ease. So what we've done is we have our, our uh, four-surface system. So right away we know it's going to be kind of tough to draw a network and do it that way. So we're just going to use our equations that we've developed. We have boundary conditions for each surface, so specified temperature, one, two, three. Uh, what else? Oh, insulated here. So Q dot is specified here. So that's our four extra equations that we need. So we have um, three times four equations, and we just go and implement that. So let's look at, at ease. Um, so this is the other one. Let's do this one first. Um, all right, so this is the same thing we had last time for the view factors. Um, that's kind of as far as we got. We had the, the areas computed. Uh, what we're adding in here are emissivities. So I've got a new matrix where I'm saying, OK, no longer can I assume black body. I'm going to add an emissivity, add surface resistances that go with that, and then, um, and then include that in the energy balance. So everything, so this is new. This is all exactly the same as it was before. Down here, we're adding in our, our energy balance. And now in terms of J, not in terms of EB. Uh, so we see, OK, Q dot is equal to the area times the sum. This is the energy balance on the J nodes, the radiosity part of the node. Um, here we have an energy balance on the surface, uh, which you can see you have the EB minus J, so that's for, for node I and the surface resistance right here. Um, and then we're relating uh, black body emissive power to the temperature, which is just this equation. And we specified our, our boundary conditions here. Um, so it's, it's actually really pretty straightforward to implement. Um, maybe, so OK, let's, let's look at the solution and just kind of see what's going on there. So we can solve this um, looking in the arrays. We had our view factors. Uh, we have our emissive power, and now we have radiosity. Um, so it actually looks pretty similar to before uh, in, in terms of what was going on. We're enforcing Q dot zero, but we're accounting for the fact that the surfaces are actually reflecting and, and interacting that way as well. Um, I guess went through that fast, but any questions on the ease setup for that or how you might do it in Python? Okay, it's a, probably the kind of thing you'd, you'd need to sit down with for, for a little while, but it, it really is not too bad, um, especially if you have an example to look at like this. So, um, Okay, so, so that's the way you'd set it up. I mean, you could do the same. We, remember last time we went back and changed, okay, we didn't we didn't want to solve for the surface temperature instead of specifying it. I mean, you could do that as well. I don't think I need to show you how to do that. But you could do the same thing. It, it still works. Um, a couple things to say about this, I guess, is, would be we've set this up where I have a relationship between the black body emissive power EB, uh, the radiosity J. What happens if emissivity is equal to 1? Uh, if emissivity is equal to 1, this becomes uh, sort of undefined, right? You have. Um, this equation that is dividing by 1 minus emissivity of 1. So effectively, what that's saying is that um, you have EB equal to J. 
So you, you need to, if you know that a surface has an emissivity of 1, it's better for you to just specify that EB is equal to J. Otherwise, you might get an undefined or a, a solver error. right? Um, but I mean, think about that. It's, it's, it's sort of forcing that resistance um, to be really, really small. Uh, that surface resistance is really, really small, or basically 0. Uh, and so that's, that's short circuiting. It's, it's forcing those two things to equal each other. So you just need to be aware that that, that could be the case and, and handle it that way. Otherwise, you can, you can always formulate everything in terms of j's. right? So as long as you specify the places where EB is equal to j, you can always just sort, uh, formulate in terms of j's. Um, OK. Uh, the other thing, one other thing that's kind of interesting about this, let's see if there's a better way to show this. Actually, let me flip back, uh, flip back here. So one thing that comes up sometimes is you go through the trouble of uh, formulating this problem, you've got some radiosity. You have an emissivity that you know is um, differs is not one, right? It's, it's a gray surface. But let's say we specify q dot is one is zero. That it's adiabatic, and you'll solve for this. And what will you see? I guess maybe this is a question. What what will you see if q dot one is zero in, in terms of how j one and eb one relate to each other? Any ideas? Okay, so q dot one is zero. These are this is a driving potential. Think of these as like temperatures. So if uh, this is zero, what do these have to be equal to each other? It's a black. It it looks like a black surface. So think about this. If you have a, an experiment, right, and you have a, a surface and you insulate that surface uh, where there's no heat flow going across it. It doesn't matter what the emissivity is of that surface. It could be really reflective. It could not be reflective. It looks the same, right? If in terms of radiation exchange, that radiosity, it looks the same. So you, it, if as q dot um, goes to a very small number compared to the other q dots in the system, the emissivity of that surface matters less and less and less. So it's just kind of an interesting thing. The other thing is that it's not necessarily true that radiosity is always going to be less than black body, right? If heat's flowing this way, radiosity has to be higher. So just keep in mind that there is a relationship between radiosity and black body, um, but it's not always like one is greater than the other. It just depends on the situation.